All right, this is actually a really good question. So, in your personnel file, when you request your personnel file, payroll records, and timesheets, not only does it include the documents that you signed, it includes your timesheets and your payroll records. So, say you know that you didn't work any Mondays, but all of a sudden your timesheets say that you worked Mondays through Fridays. Now, that could be an issue. If that's one error on all your timesheets, then I can only imagine what kind of other errors there are on your timesheets. Now, let's say that um, hmm. let's say it has your timesheets and then you weren't allowed to take any lunch breaks. So once they send you your personnel file with the timesheets and the payroll records, you'll be able to set the employer in stone at, as to what their position is if you want to go after them for failure to provide you uh, lunch breaks and rest periods. Now, I could see how someone would say, oh, there's no big deal about getting your personnel file. It's just getting the documents that you signed when you were there. But, you know, it's important. It's important because you spend one third of your life at work generally. And when you want to get your records, they should be able to give you your records because you exist. You're a human being. You work there. You're not a ghost. So it's just a good part practice to have to request your personnel file after you're done with the place because in case you need any references later, you need to reference any kind of certifications that you had while you were working there, they should all be there.